Last 850th step. <laughs> Today we are taking you all on one magical mystery tour of some of the coolest places to see some awesome ancient stuff around the world. Lucky old you. Join us as we investigate 20 of the greatest archaeological discoveries ever. Number 20. Oldest Human Footprints Back in 2021, a team of scientists made an astonishing discovery in the area that is now called White Sands National Park in New Mexico. That's where they found what they believe to be the oldest human footprints ever to be unearthed in all of North America. These incredible prints have been dated to around 23,000 years ago. There were a total of 61 different prints that were excavated during the study. They mostly came from teenagers and children, and the group has suggested that this was likely because the adults were off performing some skilled tasks while the youngsters were sent out to fetch and carry at the edge of the lake. Now, this is why there were more prints from the younger generations in this area, as they say. To figure all of this out, they would use radiocarbon dating to establish a kind of timeline in history for the footprints. They found seed layers of aquatic plant life in the layers of the prints, which also allowed scientists to determine that the prints ranged from about 23,000 to 21,000 years ago, and that at the time they were made, the area was actually an Ice Age lake that filled the Tularosa Basin across the area of South Central New Mexico. Just to put this timeline into a little more perspective for you, these humans would have shared their spaces with such extraordinary and now extinct creatures as the woolly mammoth. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. And now it's time for the fancy topic. Well, we're told that what they discovered in Europe shocked the whole world, but what exactly are we looking at here? All of your insights would be most welcome. It looks like a golden skull, but did it begin that way, or is it a piece of art, or perhaps some kind of creepy post-death sort of ritual? Or could it possibly be the work of aliens? What do you think? As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag FancyTopic and let me know what you think in relation to what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. Tutankhamun's Tomb Now. No doubt you've probably heard of the treasure of ancient Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun, but in case you haven't, here's a little info for your pleasure. This is a story about why stealing stuff from tombs is probably a bad idea, you know, what with all the curses and such. One of the most famously cursed ancient treasures of all time was the tomb of Tutankhamun. Members of his excavation team found and recorded almost 700 objects. Discovered on November the 4th of 1922 by a team of archaeologists who were led by Howard Carter, the long-lost tomb of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh had been left undisturbed for almost 3,000 years. When the tomb was opened and entered by Carter and his team, rumors then began to circulate that the curse of the pharaoh would befall all who had disturbed the boy king's resting place. And they did. A whole load of people involved in the unearthing of the tomb, the removal of all the golden treasures, and the bodies, amongst other tomb-based delights, well, they all began dropping like flies. Sudden or violent deaths were dispensed amongst the people who took part or profited from the discovery of the tomb. So I don't really know about you, but I think poking about in dead people stuff like this is probably not the best idea, even if their stuff is really shiny. Number 18. Boro Badur The World Heritage Site known as Boro Badur in Java in Indonesia is a place which I have likely mispronounced, and it's actually the largest Buddhist temple in the entire world. Built on nine platforms, which are all stacked one on top of the other, six of them are square and three are circular. There's also a dome at the center to give the whole thing a fancy cake-looking finish. The real fun stuff is going on inside of the decorative pieces that cover the structure, though. There are 2,672 relief panels, and there were once a total of 504 statues of the Buddha. 
there are now 72 statues that surround the main dome of the temple. This place would be constructed sometime between 778 AD and 850 AD during a dynasty, and it's a combination of the indigenous Indonesian tradition of worshiping the ancestors and the Javanese Buddhist architecture. It has influences from Indian culture, but retains its own distinct and unique Indonesian vibe. It remains a deeply religious place and is a hotspot for Buddhist pilgrimages even to this day. It is the most visited tourist attraction in all of Indonesia. Number 17. The Lost City of Tania The discovery of a lost ancient city is the stuff of an archaeologist's wet dreams. Many an archaeologist can spend their entire career in a hole in the ground, painstakingly dusting off old bits of pottery with a toothbrush, and never even come close to the excitement of finding an entirely lost place from the mythical stories of ancient times. Thought before by Schliemann, he wished it to be bigger. But for Elena Korka, one of Greece's top archaeologists, this is precisely what happened. The lost city of Tania was a place that she was instrumental in unearthing. It had been lost for so long, in fact, that it had actually become a legend. But Korka was determined, and she had dedicated her career to finding the place. According to myth, Tania was founded by the Trojans around 1100 BC and was apparently built by prisoners of war on the road between Corinth and Mycenae. It's believed to have been one of the biggest and most prosperous cities of the region, but somehow it just completely disappeared. The site, although not officially discovered or excavated, had still been known about by illegal smugglers of antiquities and had been plundered for many years before a team of archaeologists could even get a license to thoroughly work on the site. Statues that had been illicitly removed from the palace indicated that it had been a significant city of great importance. The official excavation of the site began in 2013. That's when they discovered that most of the surface artifacts had already been looted, but the city itself laid below the surface at about two or three meters down and there was still so much more to learn. Almost everything that they went on to discover would be utterly unique. Now, it was a Trojan city, and they did live a very different way to other people of the time. The discoveries being made at Tania continue, and they believe that it's going to continue to reveal extremely valuable insights into life in ancient Greece for many more years to come. Number 16. Pompeii after the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, the entire ancient Roman city of Pompeii would be covered with lava and ash and therefore restored for future generations to see inside life in this time. The entire ancient city of Pompeii would be frozen in time. The place was covered in a 20-foot deep layer of ash and pumice stone that preserved the homes, artifacts, and many of the people. This is an oven very similar to an oven you'd see in Naples exactly as it was in those terrifying last moments when the city was engulfed by the volcanic debris. Pompeii stayed just as it was for 1400 years, all before being rediscovered by a group of explorers in 1748. Around 2,000 people died in the eruption in the city of Pompeii, but as many as 16,000 died across the entire area. They froze right where they fell and were preserved by the ash. Many artifacts, even those containing food, had also been preserved in that moment, the buildings and everyday objects were mainly intact. Pompeii was a kind of time capsule of ancient Roman life. The original discovery of the tragic city had sparked a huge enthusiasm for all things ancient amongst the society types of the 18th century Europe. Many fashionable people displayed objects that were taken from the site in their homes, and the style of architecture also had a huge influence on the buildings of that era as well. The site continues to be excavated even to this day, 300 years after it was originally unearthed, it's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and continues to fascinate tourists and scholars from all over the world. Number 15. Terracotta Warriors Now, no doubt when this army, known as the Terracotta Warriors, would first be discovered, it likely made all of those who found them recoil in fear. It must have been a spooky sight indeed, when back in 1974, a couple of farmers had found some pottery-like pieces on the ground and then went to investigate further. This is when the tomb of China's first emperor would be uncovered, and as it was opened, it revealed an army of life-size sculptures. Thousands of warriors and horses, depicted in terracotta, stand guard over the ancient tomb. They were all sporting full armor and stand in a particularly menacing battle formation, facing east. 
as this would be the direction that the emperor's enemies would come from. Incredibly, each of the sculptures is an individual. They all have different facial features, hairstyles, and their ranks are made evident by their headgear. Each statue stands at around six feet tall, weighing up to 600 pounds, but the reason that archaeologists believe that these terracotta warriors were buried in the tomb is the ancient Chinese tradition of the afterlife. 3,000 years ago, the people of ancient China believed that when they died, they would exist in the afterlife, so the wealthy and the nobility of China wanted to take with them the things that they would need in the next world. That also included their servants. Yes, there was actually a tradition of burying the still-living servants of royalty with them when they died. It's horrifying and kind of impractical. So when the emperor died, I imagine it was likely to be really inconvenient if all of his best soldiers had to go with him. The solution appears to have been to replace the living, breathing bodies with pottery depictions. No doubt the army would breathe a collective sigh of relief. Number 14. Rosetta Stone the discovery of the Rosetta Stone was one of the great breakthroughs in archaeology and history. The Rosetta Stone is a decree that dates back from 196 BC, which would be written by a council of priests affirming the right of the Pharaoh Ptolemy V to rule over Egypt. It sounds kind of boring, but the thing was, the stone has the same decree written on it in three different languages. And back in 1799, when it was discovered by a scientific team alongside a military expedition that was led by Napoleon, the only language that was known was that of ancient Greek. The stone also had hieroglyphic and demotic translations of the same texts, which allowed scholars to decipher these lost languages by using the stone. Later on, the British went and stole the Rosetta Stone and bunged it up in a British museum. The Egyptians have repeatedly requested that the Rosetta Stone be returned to Egypt. Number 13. Gnosis Gnosis on the island of Crete in Greece is an ancient archaeological site that holds immense historical and mythological significance. It's considered one of the most important and well-preserved archaeological sites from the Bronze Age and is often referred to as the Palace of Gnosis. The sprawling complex dates back to the Minoan civilization, one of the earliest advanced civilizations in Europe, and is believed to have been inhabited continuously for over 7,000 years. The palace is the largest of its kind in the Bronze Age Mediterranean, a labyrinthian structure with multiple levels, rooms, and courtyards. Gnosis is closely associated with the myth of the Minotaur. This is a creature with the body of a human and the head of a bull. According to legend, King Minos of Crete ordered the construction of the labyrinth beneath the palace to imprison the Minotaur. The site's excavations were led by a British archaeologist named Sir Arthur Evans in the early 20th century, and the dig would uncover a wealth of artifacts. This included a bunch of frescoes, pottery, and lots of cool architectural details these discoveries would provide very valuable insights into the daily life, art, and culture of the Minoan civilization. Number 12. Sutton Hoo Sutton Hoo is an archaeological site of massive historical significance located in Suffolk in the UK. This site is renowned for its association with an elaborate Anglo-Saxon burial mound, which was unearthed in the 1930s and has since shed a lot of light on the early history of England. The most famous discovery at Sutton Hoo would be a burial ship, which is believed to be the final resting place of an Anglo-Saxon king or noble that dates all the way back to the 7th century. The ship was richly furnished with a lot of really shiny stuff, which included an extremely ornate helmet, a load of gold and garnet jewelry, weapons, coins, and an intricately designed fancy sort of shoulder clasp. The significance of Sutton Hoo extends beyond its material wealth. It revealed that the Anglo-Saxons had a level of sophistication and artistic achievement that had been previously massively understated. The discovery has also challenged earlier notions about the Anglo-Saxon period in England, as it showed evidence of contact with other cultures and possible royal connections. These days, Sutton Hoo is a museum and visitor center, which allows visitors to explore the archaeological site, view a replica of the burial ship, and learn about the history of the Anglo-Saxons and their enormous impact on historic England.
Number 11. Homo luzonensis. <laughs> Discovered in a cave in the Philippines, these ancient bones and teeth have left scientists scratching their heads in puzzlement as they raise more questions than they can actually answer. In 2007, a single teeny weeny little foot bone would be found in the cave. It dated back to 67,000 years ago, and upon further excavations in 2011 and then again in 2015, the cave would give up even more secrets. In total, 12 more hand and foot bones were found, as well as a piece of a femur and a few teeth. These bones were believed to belong to a newly discovered species of early human named Luzonensis because they were discovered on the island of Luzon. What distinguishes these old bones from any other of early humans is the teeth. These premolars and molars are much more simplified and smaller than those of other species. The teeth and jaws of the discoveries show that this was a unique anatomy that is not exactly like any other that's been previously found. It remains a rather mysterious thing, and there are still many questions about how it ended up here and where it all sits in the scheme of evolution. Number 10. Petra Petra, or the Rose City, as it's sometimes known, is an ancient archaeological wonder nestled in the southwestern region of Jordan. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is celebrated for its architecture, and the whole place is carved into the rose-red cliffs of the southern Jordanian desert. It's unique and a feat of ancient engineering, and the city was once a really important center for culture and trade within the region. Last 850th step. The most iconic feature of Petra would be its narrow canyon-like entrance, known as the Seek, which leads to the Treasury Building. The Treasury is decorated with a lot of fancy carvings, and because it's so very photogenic, it's been featured in a lot of different films and documentaries. As well as the famous Treasury, Petra has lots of other sorts of structures, which includes temples, tombs, and the monastery that are all carved into the rose-colored sandstone. Petra's history is shrouded in mystery, but it was known to be a vital trading hub along the ancient spice and incense routes, connecting Arabia, Africa, and the Mediterranean. It was a particular feat of engineering for its time, as this area was not well endowed in the water supply department. So, it required hugely clever stuff just to make it function on that very basic essential level let alone all the much fancier twiddly bits and design features that it has. It's a really remarkable historical site that shows just how brainy people have been even since the ancient times. Number 9. Machu Picchu Just pointed straight up and said the words that would change Bingham's life. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, which is often referred to as the lost city of the Incas, is an awe-inspiring archaeological treasure high up in the Andes Mountains of Peru. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the, seemingly endless lists of, new seven wonders of the world. It's celebrated for its beautiful natural setting as well as its ancient Inca architecture. Built during the 15th century by the Inca Emperor, Machu Picchu was constructed with precisely cut stone blocks, some weighing several tons, and without the use of mortar. Its purpose remains a subject of debate among scholars, with theories that range from a royal estate to an astronomical observatory or even a ceremonial center. Machu Picchu's location, high up in the Andes, and surrounded by lush cloud forests only adds to its mystique. The panoramic views of the surrounding peaks as well as the river below are awesome, and many tourists make the trip there to get completely blown away by the incredible landscape as well as all of the mysterious history of the palace. Now, for centuries, Machu Picchu has remained hidden from the world and was known only to the locals. It was brought to the international spotlight by American historian and explorer Hiram Bingham in 1911. And ever since then, it's become one of the world's most iconic tourist destinations. Drawing in visitors from all across the globe, it now suffers from many of the effects of mass tourism, like erosion and heavy footfall, as well as the surroundings lacking sufficient infrastructure to support so many additional people. But that is the way of such things. Number 8. The Cave of Altamira the Cave of Altamira in Spain is a site of major historical importance and artistic significance. Predominantly famous for its amazing prehistoric cave paintings, which date back to the Upper Paleolithic Era, which was around 36,000 years ago, makes it some of the oldest known examples of human art. 
The cave art mainly depicts animals, which includes bison, horses, boars, and other creatures, some of which are really detailed. These paintings give everyone a lot of interesting insights into the lives and artistic habits of our ancient ancestors, showing everyone how they had a deep connection with the rest of the natural world. The discovery of the cave in 1879 by an amateur archaeologist brought the eyes of the world to the site. And due to concerns about preservation, it has been largely closed to the public since the early 2000s. However, a meticulous replica, known as the Altamira Museum, has been created to allow visitors to experience the artwork while also protecting the original cave from damage that's been caused by humans and their naughty stompy feet and sticky fingers. Number 7. The Staffordshire Hoard When it was dug up in a Staffordshire field, this enormous hall was immediately dubbed the most significant Anglo-Saxon hoard ever found in Britain. It took a dedicated team of archaeologists months to painstakingly dig out, remove, and catalog the items, and at the end, they discovered more than 14,000 individual pieces. The thing was, though, that the local council had been concerned about the news of the treasure becoming public. Metal detectives came and told me he found a Saxon hoard. I didn't believe it. So they set about putting out a rumor of a search for a body following a made-up murder. Apparently, it was better for people to think there was a crazed, axe-wielding man rampaging through the area rather than the press get a hold of a story about some gold. Anyways, after a lengthy procedure and an oddball cover-up, the discovery eventually became common knowledge. After being officially declared treasure and valued at an estimated 3.2 million British pounds, it went on display in Birmingham, and apparently people were so very eager to peep at the ancient field junk that they waited in line for hours to see it. Well, <laughs> you know how much British people just love to form an orderly queue. Number 6. The Lost Leaders of Jamestown Jamestown in Virginia was the first permanent settlement in America by the English colonists in the early 1600s. These were among the first leaders of English America. More than 80% of them died in the first couple of years, but up until recently, the whereabouts of their leader's mortal remains had actually been a mystery. That mystery would be solved when, in 2015, archaeologists would discover the skeletons of four of the earliest leaders of that English colony, where they had been buried near the altar of the first Protestant church to be built in America in Jamestown. It seems like a fairly obvious location, but there you go. Anyways, the bodies were discovered beneath the earth floor of the historic church, and there were also a lot of artifacts that had been buried with them, some of which added even more mystery to the entire situation. Number 5. The Dead Sea Scrolls The Dead Sea Scrolls are a collection of ancient Jewish texts and manuscripts that were discovered in the late 20th century in the vicinity of the Dead Sea, near modern-day Israel and Jordan. In 67, because it was stored in Rockville in 67, they came. These scrolls are believed to have huge religious, historical, and literary significance. They include a wide range of documents like biblical texts, religious commentaries, hymns, calendars, and various other writings. The discovery of the scrolls had changed the study of ancient Judaism and Christianity and provided new insights into the development of religious thought, the evolution of biblical text, and the cultural and historical context of the time. These manuscripts continue to be the subject of intense scholarly research and enthusiastic reception by Bible fans everywhere, as you might imagine they would be. Number 4. The Nazca Lines All right, something that could be aliens. I mean, no, sorry. Actually, it was just the ancient South Americans. Although the jury is still out on this one, because it is super strange and it seems really difficult to have achieved all the way back 2,000 years ago. The Nazca Lines are a collection of absolutely enormous geoglyphs, meaning drawings on the Earth, which are found all along the coastal plains of Peru and South America. They're kind of standard rectangles, spirals, squares, triangles. These lines vary in style. Some of them are straight, some are geometric designs, and others are pictorial. The thing is, though, that they are colossal, the largest measuring up to 30 miles long. The Nazca lines do still baffle scientists today and historians alike, since nobody can exactly put their finger on even why they were created and what the images might mean. But they are really awesome, just as artworks in their own rights. And now we have drones. 
so we can get a really good look at them as well. Thank heavens for drone technology. Where would we all be without it? Number 3. Chichen Itza Chichen Itza on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico is one of the most well-preserved archaeological sites of ancient Mayan civilization. It was a prominent pre-Columbian city that thrived from around the 7th to the 10th century CE and was a very important place in Mayan culture and history. Clap, there will be an echo that you hear which sounds like a bird chirping. At the center was the large pyramid, which is believed to have been a temple to the god Cucu El Khan. It's precisely aligned with the astronomical events, particularly during the spring and autumn equinoxes, when the shadows create the illusion of a serpent descending the steps. Chichen Itza also boasts a vast ball court, where ancient Mesoamerican ball games were held, as well as the sacred cenote, a natural sinkhole believed to have been used for sacrificial offerings. In 1988, it was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and is now yet another one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. Number 2. Stonehenge Now you've probably already seen Stonehenge at some point somewhere, and it's a super famous Neolithic monument from about 5,000 years ago. It was clear of trees, it's still with the chalk soil, so just the setting would have been spectacular. This World Heritage Site is located in Wiltshire in the UK, and the monument itself is built from enormous standing stones that are arranged in a circle on Salisbury Plain. Each of these impressive standing stone structures is about 13 feet tall, 7 feet wide, and weigh a staggering 25 tons. How the rocks were brought there and then positioned, raised and so on still remains a subject of fascination for archaeologists. Stonehenge is a place of great mystery and intrigue, although the exact purpose and meaning of this incredibly old place is not known for certain. It is believed that it was used as a burial ground from as early as 3000 BC and has certainly been seen as a significant place by many societies since those rocks were first raised all those millennia ago. Number 1. Sir Ernest Shackleton's Whiskey The Anglo-Irish explorer Ernest Shackleton led three British expeditions to Antarctica in the early part of the 20th century. Archaeologists back in 2010 would be delighted to find a whole bunch of whiskey that had been stashed by the explorer and his team under the ice outside of their hut in the Antarctic during the British Antarctic Expedition of 1907 to 1909. The booze had been bunged there when the expedition aborted its efforts and then headed home in a hurry as sea ice began to encroach on their encampment. There it remained for a century, along with plenty of other leftover items, which included a lot of weird retro survival foods like dried spinach, stewed kidneys, oxtail soup, mutton cutlets, and more. Oh, and the truly delicious sounding pemmican, which was a dried meat mixed with fat that was apparently available in varieties for men and dogs. Oh, the height of culinary excellence. Well now, that was all very interesting, wasn't it? My brain is just brimming with all of these new and fascinating facts. Which of these incredible discoveries has you eager to learn more? And have you ever visited any of these awesome ancient places yourself? Be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.